mechanical recycling is imperative to recycle that first level. What advanced recycling can do is take it to the next level. We bring in used plastic, we heat it up, we vaporize it, and we have a phase change separation from all the fillers and dyes and inks that are in that plastic. We bring in typically about 100,000 pounds per day of used plastic, and that converts into about 10,000 gallons of hydrocarbon liquid that can go back into making new plastics. Wash your recyclables, pick up your trash, pick up your litter. Here they are. They destroyed our roads with their, 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 their machinery and their equipment and their trucks. Um, they devalue our homes and our properties. They contaminate our, park, our, our parks. And so it's like, what kind of value are we setting up for ourselves and for, for our community? My asthma is acting up a little bit more, but when I get down here, it acts a little bit worse. And so I always bring my pump. One of the major fights that we're fighting right now is um, plastic burning facility, which um, the polluters are calling plastic recycling, but it doesn't really recycle plastic. And it comes up in the legislative session um, in the new year, we're going to be extra vigilant um, and make sure that the plastic facility is not expanded, that the um, liquefied uh, propane gas is not expanded, um, or that any other toxic chemicals are expanded in, 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 our, in our neighborhood. You know, how many different um, toxins are you going to build on top of each other, on top of residents, again, who are low income and minority groups. This was a multi-generational problem that we created, you know, plastic pollution and it's gonna take a multi-generational solution to fix that.